hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn how to pass the intent from one activity to another activity first of all we will learn what is intent in android studio intent are used for communicating between the application components and it also provides the connectivity between two apps you can move your user from one app to another app by using intent you can move your user from one activity to another activity and you can pass your data from one activity to another activity by using intent okay now let's move toward the practical okay here you can see that we have created a simple android application and in this application we will create another activity and we will move our user from main activity to another activity by using intent first of all create the activity so i will right click on the app folder right click here new here select the activity and select the mpt activity here we will give the name of our activity and i am going to give the name like login activity you can give any name and press on finish button so our sec second activity have been created now i will open the activity underscore main and here we just we will just drag and drop a button here and we will constrain it to the right and constrain it to the bottom the margin right would be 16 dp and the margin bottom would be 16 dp and here i have to type the text next so we just have designed a simple main activity and in the activity underscore login i will just drag and drop a text Next view here i will constrain it horizontally and vertically and here i will type the text login activity i will give the id to our button in our main activity like btn next that's it close this file and also close this activity underscore login xml file inside the main activity first of all we have to declare our button object by using button class so i will type here btn next semicolon and inside the on create method we will initialize our button so i will type here btn next is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn next semicolon next we will set an on click listener to our button so i will type here btn next dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener inside this we will write our code that what will happen when user will click on the next button so we will create an object of the intent class so i will type here intent the name of object would be also intent space new inside this intent we have to pass the context of our application so you can pass the context by writing here get application context method or you can directly write the name like main activity dot this comma and after space you have to write where you want to move to your user because we want to move our user to our login activity so i will type here login activity dot class you know our app is a collection of multiple activities so suppose if you want to move your user toward another activity you have to write that activity name here make sure put the semicolon at the end and lastly we have to use a function which is start activity and inside this function we have to pass our intent okay by writing this these lines of code we can move our user from one activity to another activity by using intent our code have been completed now let me run the apps run the app so i can show you the output so guys here you can see that our app have been installed to our emulator and here this is the button that we just have created when i will click on this button you will see the login activity has been opened so guys i hope you must enjoy this video and in this video we learn how how to use intent to move your user from one activity to another activity and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and if and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn android apps development and finally thanks for watching